Hello, my name is Olga Bazanova. I am glad to welcome you to our class. Today we will write peonies. I took the size of canvas 50 by 60, but you can take any other format, at least 40 by 50. You can take a square canvas, but not less than 40 by 50, because it will be inconvenient to paint on a small format in the technique that I want to show you. Let's start making undercoat. The paints I use for this painting are whitewash, kinacridone violet pink, you can use any cold pink color, speckled pink can be changed for magenta, speckled violet, green FC, Grassy Green, Blue FC, Mars Brown, Cadmium Yellow, and Cadmium Red. For this picture, cold pink shades are needed. A warm red shade is needed. Yellow, Brown, Blue, and Green shades are the main palette. Also, you can use Black. I take white, red, and yellow. Through these colors we make the background. Here we outline the contour top through brown and pink. We outline everything approximately. The outer part is not the most important in this picture. The bouquet is important to us. Now I wash the brush and take the white. On the right side, we get light from the window. We apply the paint in a thin layer. I take blue, red and white. We check that the entire canvas is covered with these delicate shades. Almost no paint. I take white and outline a thin tule in the background. white and pink. On the left side a little pale shades. Now we need to mark the most important points in the picture. I take blue, red and let's start. The vase is located to the left of the center of the canvas. There is a space below. Be sure to draw an oval, add gray and blue shades on the edge of the vase.
Imagine where our vase will be in the future. Blue and red colors give us a great, great shade. I take white and set several elements through white. Made a few pieces. Add some dark pieces. Now I take grassy green and brown. A little red and yellow. A bit of shading. In this area and in this add green and red. The next underpainting is flowers. I take the darkest color. Purple speckles and pink speckle. Draw a flower with a construction brush. The size of the flower should be smaller than the size of the flower in the future. The next flower will be here. We carefully apply a dark color. The next flower will be here. Making a flower here through dark colors. Here will be the largest flower. Now we are filling this flower. Let's add a bit of blue here. And on this one, and on this one, and over here. And on this flower we will add some dark blue. This will give us the color depth. The next one is pink shades. I take white and the paint that was on the previous color. I add a lilac flower here. I add a little cadmium red and a little bit of brown to the left side. Here through the cadmium red and yellow, I take white and some pink.
from the left side through white and yellow. Add some blue and red. It will be a grayish tint. We got the first layer. It is necessary to check that there is not a lot of paint. I remove the excess paint. This applies to colors. Wipe the palette knife after each removal. Right now I'm using grassy green and a bit of blue FC and brown. Here we outline the petal. Through the dark shades Done. Through the blue and pink, just a little bit here. Grassy green and yellow. One movement. Through the grassy green and brown. Yellow and a bit of red. It's just under underpainting. We are not working on the painting yet. We are just sketching out the subjects. We add yellow and grassy green shades to the vase. Grassy green, here are a few leaves, here two leaves go synchronously. In this direction, grassy green and yellow. Add blue FC red and a little green. One more leaf. In the background, right here, they don't reach the flower. I will put the greenery in the flowers later, after I paint the flowers. Here in the background, I outline through a yellow and green peony. Where the greenery will be and explain it. Through grassy green and I outlined the sepals. The bud goes to the side through brown and green.
blue and green and of course yellow. A little lilac and green. This is a reflection of a flower. It will be a lilac hue. I take big brush and soften the reflections. We will work with the peonies first. We will start from the top part where we painted the peonies. I take a flat brush number 8 or 10. We will write a picture so that the light falls from here and from here. The light will be very diffuse and will go on the right side. I take white and pink. I brush first with one side. In this way we get different petals. I add more pink paint because this way we get a variety of shades of petals. We go from the background to the foreground, lighter and lighter. We create shadow parts through pink kinacridon or any dark pink. Pink and white. Combine two strokes and get a petal. There will be a petal with a light edge. Inside there will be small petals that curl up. The peony has three kinds of petals. Large outer petals, Narrow petals that look at us and short inner petals that round towards the center. And here are some petals. One more. Next flower, it will be called light. I take white and purple pink, kinacridon, and add a little blue. These are the petals that are on the outside mixed with darkest petals.
These are the inner short petals. There are narrow petals and petals that form a flower, from the outside to the inside. From the outside to the inside. There will be a leaf here, so I don't draw anything here. A little pink and red in this element. Why do such colors appear on a cold flower? Because light penetrates through this flower and makes the flower a little wa warmer. Neatly and done. We continue to work with the white. You can change the thinner so that there is not too pink a shade. Now I will work with pure white and solvent. Sometimes it will be necessary to remove excess paint with a tissue, because the white can be too pasty. We lay large petals while we do not overlap the area in the middle. We continue to form the petals. Silkness appears. Here you need to use more solvent, because these petals will be in the shade. Formed. Added some blue. Now I take a little pink.
carefully create a border on the edges of the petal. Continue. On the right side, we add white. The light falls only on the right side. Done. I will add a few dark petals inside. Lilac petals. There will be dark shades in depth. We will write the next flower through white and yellow. Carefully write the petals on the previous colorful layer without overlapping this layer. We make each petal through a downward movement. White and blue shades here. The flower is created through powdery shades. A few yellow shades. The next flower is pink. I take white and pink shades. First, a large petal. The movement begins with a dark petal. We see the folds of the petals, which means that the petals are looking at us. We emphasize the outer petals that in the light. The rest of the petals remain under painting. It is very convenient to paint peonies. We only need to paint over the lightest areas.
Here are a few petals. We will convey the brightness and richness of the color through white and purple-pink kinocridon. but only in some areas. It is important not to overdo it with highlights, so as not to lose color. Move on. Kynacridon and a little white. It turns out flowers. We start making these flowers from the left side through lilac shades. We take pink and blue. Carefully here. A little pink, lilac and white. In this part, the petals in a circle. We make a sketch of the petals that are in the light. I take pink and white and make some light petals right here. Add cadmium to the craplock to create a delicate pink shade. Carefully make a few petals here. There is a depth and darkness here. Little petals inside. Blue FC and Kynocridon. A few dark areas here. forming a circle element. 
Let's move on the next pin. This flower is white. I take white. Through the white, we make petals on the right side. These petals almost merge with each other. The flower goes from the outer surface inwards. These petals from the outside to the inside. All the transitions are very soft. There are a lot of small petals here, in this place. The petals are looking at us. We see these petals are rounded. There will be lighter and colder rose petals here. Let's add a little blue tint. It will turn out a complex shade that will give the feeling of a shadow on the flower. Continue with the white and pink on this side. We return to the peony in the background. I take a bright shade and a little white. A little cadmium. From outside to inside. Here we set the petal, one more stroke, remove the excess paint and get a triangle petal. A small highlight.
We do all this with a small amount of paint. A highlight. The less paint, the better you can control the hues. Here are the petal curls. White and a little blue tint here. Putting shadows here. Before moving on to the bottom and painting the foliage, I want to tell you something. Hello. Welcome to Olga Bozanova's Painting Studio. Here you can plunge into the incredible world of painting and start painting in oils. Many different painting lessons from Olga Bozanova, a famous Russian artist, are waiting for you. All lessons are fully translated into English. In these tutorials you will find many different chapters, from seething seas to Dutch still lifes. All classes were filmed for you in high quality and with the presence of close-ups, where the smallest details are showing. Together with Olga you will paint truly beautiful pictures. See you at the courses! Follow the link below and let's create beautiful pictures together. Now we will work on the bottom part and later make the full edge. I'm adding a pink tint here and darker shades through indigo and yellow and pink. The color is complex. You can just take brown, but I like the complex color. It looks really good here. A little bit of white and grey to make the highlights. Now we are working with this flower. Let's start from the far petal through pink and white.
Here is a petal with a lighter element. Set large petals through blue and pink. A little white and lilac. I take a pale cold shade and here we set the petals that cover the center of the flower. A little delicate pink shades. This petal is a large pink. Cold shades of pink. A few elements with a blue tint. Neatly formed the flower lying here. A few more petals. I am doing this big petal through liquid paint, white with pink. Darkness through indigo and pink. A few more of the brightest with elements right here.
In the background, add yellow to the flower. Dark red on the edge of the bud. White. And yellow. Start adding green. Very gentle pink shade. Create shadows through pink dark shades. We move on to this part, to the vase. There will be the bright highlights here. I will work with highlights in the first layer. The light penetrates very brightly here. There is a very large amount of solvents. Highlights here. Brown and indigo in the shadow on the stem. Indigo and some blue FC.
shadows in the glass. There will be the slight reflection on the flower and greenery. Reflection on the table. Applied great shades to the vase. White. On each edge of the vase. Inside the vase, there are some cream shades. Some shadows with a blue tint. Approximately made shades and we'll continue to work with greener. The first green element I want to add is here and slightly overlap the vase piece. through yellow or white. I want to make a little darker between the leaves. Here I am setting a large leaf across the grassy green. Moving on to the top of the painting. We are back to the leaves. I do all the work with one brush. Adding yellow, green, sunny shades in the background.
the leaf that unfolded on us. through yellow and red. Here through the grassy green and brown. Round of the leaf and take it to the side. Yellow, white, yellow, and blue here. Grassy green and indigo over here. Another leaf. White and yellow over here. Another leaf with a blue tinge. Grassy green, yellow, and green of sea. White. Another big beautiful leaf here. Yellow and grassy green.
made basic flowers and leaves. I will add a few cherry colors to the leaves. This will give a natural shade to the leaves. Adding a raspberry color. Now I will move on to the general background and make some shadows. And we will complete our painting. Before that, the final touches, here I will put lighter shades on this peony. Let's move on to the general plan. Now we are looking at the big picture. What we need to do? Arrange the main highlights through a large amount of thinner. Set highlight on this flower. More highlights on these areas. From this side. This can be done with the thinnest brush. I take whitewash and done. We will look at the main elements of the background. I will work with the background through red, yellow and purple. It turns brown. A little bit darkness. I will add some green to the dark part. It's good for the overall shot. Here, through the brown and pink shadow. Very softly shade the paint.
Now I will add more white. Thin layer of paint. A little so that it does not look convex. On the right side, in this area, Let's smooth this out. It adds silkness. We put a highlight here and here. Further these highlights with the help of a construction brush and give shine to these pieces. And on this we have finished our picture. Dear friends, the next video is especially for you. Hello! Welcome to Olga Bozanova's painting studio. Here you can plunge into the incredible world of painting and start painting in oils. Many different painting lessons from Olga Bazanova, a famous Russian artist, are waiting for you. All lessons are fully translated into English. In these tutorials you will find many different chapters, from seething seas to Dutch still lifes. All classes were filmed for you in high quality and with the presence of close-ups, where the smallest details are shown. Together with Olga you will paint truly beautiful pictures. See you at the courses! Follow the link below and let's create beautiful pictures together.